Hello everyone. Unfortunately, our CVT has finally failed. Uh, we had a pretty good long run with this thing actually, basically a ticking time bomb. So it finally gave out and we're gonna be converting it to outboard compressors. We have our CVT conversion harness. We got some Vi-Air dual compressors, some new O-rings. We're gonna be going ahead and doing a full CVT conversion. Our, our personal truck, Hutch's Weldon 63F100. Taylor Swift, the old Swifty there. Let's get after it. So we have all the screws around the perimeter of the end of the cap removed. These are them right there. And then on the inside, there's three little set screws that we took out. They look like this on both sides. And then where there's a little snap ring here that we had started to take out. That's on the end here. That'll allow this plug to be released. And then I'm going to remove this little drill here. And then this guy gets taken out. So many little screws. Make sure you have a really nice Allen set. Because there's a lot of little guys, little, little screws here, little Allens, hex Allens all over the place. So you're gonna remove this plastic bracket and then there's another little set screw there. Well, there she is. You're not gonna need that anymore. Uh, this pops out pretty easy. A Little bit of hammer action just to kind of push it through. Sometimes you might need some lube. This thing has been collecting water and that's the cause of this failure. One more thing I forgot to add. So there's two factory screws under here that hold the compressor in place. So remember to take those off. I had those out for fitting. So there are two factory screws that hold the compressor in place. So just remember to remove those. So all you gotta do is See ya. Now we'll be putting our new O-rings in. Remember each of these screws have a little O-ring. So there's a bunch of little ones in there. There's O-ring for the connector, which didn't show yet, but you're gonna take your connector for the valves and now it's gonna slide through here. Don't forget the O-ring, so let's do that. We're just swapping out our, our O-rings. Remember kids, always use lube. We have uh, valve connector. That's gonna go in this spot now. It's pushed in. Get a little snap ring, plop that back in there. When you're doing the, the little screws O-rings, sometimes they get stuck in the cap. So remember that you gotta get them out of the cap too. Basically how it looks. With all the internal compressor parts taken out, you can see how much moisture was getting in here. There we have it, fresh, freshly converted CVT over to a VT tank now. What that means is that it's a valve tank combo, so the valves are inside the tank. You're not gonna have an external valve block. Now it's converted back to traditional VT, which is something that AccuAir continues to offer. So if you have any issues, they do have that. Uh, one more thing, the kit does come with a new pressure sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and add the new one in there. You can keep the old one as a spare.
We got the CVT taken out. We got the CVT converted. We got the tank back in the truck. We're moving on to the compressors. We're gonna be using Viair outboard compressors. These are their latest and greatest. They're 485Cs, super sleek new design. They come in black or platinum. Really awesome compressors, pump up really fast. We use them on all our uh, Super Duty air suspension stuff. They work really well. We're also gonna be pairing them up with some automatically draining water traps that you run in line into the tanks. When this fills up, it just drips out some water. Um, very important to have. That way you don't collect moisture in the tank and damage components. That is the most common point of failure with air tanks. We'll get some brackets made up and get these installed. Moving on to the wiring, we got all the old components out, all the old AccuWare stuff. So now we're gonna be putting all our new stuff in. We got a new AccuWare harness and then our new VT connectors. Instead of using Teflon tape or paste, I use this thread sealant. Works really good. It comes out very similar to like Loctite. Never had any, any issues with it. Works really well for all pipe fittings and hydraulic applications. So it's a little pro tip for you. Boom, there you have it. <clears throat> got the fire compressors all mounted up, plumbed. Got the water traps, automatic draining water traps. All handled, let's test the system. our install everything's working properly i'll take it for a spin got our dual buyer compressor installed the full cbt conversion to a vt got some water traps to collect all the moisture that's pretty much it man hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to contact us and uh we'll see you on the next one